Afghanistan, you were intimately involved um, when you were the Secretary of Defense. President Trump campaigned on bringing the troops home. President Obama campaigned on bringing the troops home. U.S. troops are still there. Is it time to bring them home? I think that the circumstances under which you bring them home matter. And, and I think trying to give the Afghan government the best possible shot uh, at survival is really important for the future of Afghanistan. I mean, if we just walk away from Afghanistan and, and the Afghan government is completely left on its own, just think of the consequences for Afghan women, for example, or girls in schools in Afghanistan. So if you hand over this country, in effect, to the Taliban, do they go back to where they were in, 19, uh, in 2000 or 1999? And what are the costs of that? And what will be the, what will be the reaction in the United States when they see uh, women being stoned to death and things like that? So the question is, can you negotiate an arrangement whereby the Taliban agrees to operate under the Afghan constitution becomes a part of the political process, um, but the aspects of P Afghanistan that have been modernized in terms that I've just been describing uh, survive. And you I think they want to be part of the Afghan government, or do they want to actually rule oh, Afghanistan? Oh, they want to. They want to take over Afghanistan. The question is, the question is whether you can negotiate. So it's unrealistic a deal. to believe then that the Taliban would agree to do things like respect women's rights, isn't it? Well. But if they, if they agree to any kind of a compromise deal, then it's really up to the a other Afghans uh, at the end of the day to, uh, to resist any moves to get rid of those changes, to go backward, if you will. But I think it's up to us after all this time to at least try and put the Afghan government in as positive a position for that contest that will come at some point uh, as we can. But at the end of the day, you've got to admit, it's going to be up to the Afghans themselves. The point you're making is not something that the Trump administration is doing, though, in terms of involving the Afghan government or keeping them fully informed in these negotiations with the Taliban. Do you think those peace talks are headed in the wrong direction? No, but I think, I think there is such a thing as sequencing, and, and obviously a big part of the Taliban's interest in this is getting the U.S. out. And so the discussions are really about what's the role of the U.S. in the future. And, and I think there have now been moves to include the Afghan government and larger representatives of Afghan society in the negotiations with the Taliban. Last question on this. So the, the former U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan, Ryan Crocker, who you know well, compared this to Vietnam. He said, you pull out your troops, it doesn't end the war, that hands the battlefield to your adversaries. Do you see that? I think there's a very real risk of that, yes. A repeat of Vietnam? Well, a repeat of, of the government that we have supported being unable to sustain itself.